Hey everyone, welcome to Technical Voice. In the last video, we have seen that how we can test our webhook on the local environment. Uh, even you have uh, other webhooks from the other application, you can also use this uh, strategy using the ang rock. So now in this video, we will see that how we can verify that the event is coming from the uh, PayPal because. Uh, this endpoint can uh, access anyone can access this endpoint as you can see the allow anonymous attribute so f let's say f someone gets the uh, you know uh, this endpoint and can send the fake request so how we will verify that this request is coming from the paypal or from the real uh, you know real place so for this i have written the code uh, first we will extract the JSON uh, from uh, from the headers and then uh, you can uh, read uh, about this webhook request from the documentation and uh, headers uh, uh, we will also extract the headers and then we will verify the event and in the verify event we are getting the token because we just need to send the again REST API to the verify event and then we will uh, serialize the request in the proper format uh, the order matters that's why I am uh, doing this in a string format so we are setting all the attributes that we are getting from the uh, headers in the webhook event and then I am also setting the webhook ID so this is important okay so how you will get this webhook ID so if you go to the go to the you know uh, webhook details where of the app and credentials for example if I go to the app and credentials then technical voice and where we have set the URI for the webhook you can get the webhook ID copy this and paste it here okay that's it then you uh, we need to send the request to this notification variable webhook and it will uh, response that this is uh, coming from the actual environment if it says that everything is okay then uh, we can do whatever you what we want okay so once uh, we get the uh, verify that then uh, we will uh, serialize the JSON and we will see that what exactly the event type is and these are the uh, event types you can uh, see in the documentation I will add the link in the description so for now just for the example I am adding three events uh, billing subscription if activated and if billing subscription cancelled and if payment sale is completed okay so let's do it let me add a webhook uh, the debug point and let's see that we are getting the request I am uh, the anchor rock is running and it will redirect the you know uh, to the 5.17 and I have added this URL to the uh, PayPal webhook configuration if you don't know about it you can see my last video I have explained everything so let's run let's verify that everything is running fine so it's running okay so let me uh, create a subscription so subscription has created now we will receive the event let's see okay now let's see that what exactly we get so we just getting the JSON and then this is the JSON let me show you this is the JSON and let's verify it get the token set the token and verify it So we get the res is response and it say 200 
and what is the verification status it's success okay and return true and then you can see that now we are deselecting the event what is the event type it says the billing subscription created okay so I have not added the billing subscription created but if you uh, have any uh, business logic that you want to do something on then when the subscription is created you can do it so we will see that uh, what will happen when we activate it and what event we will get uh, when the subscription activated okay so now it's a return okay so if you uh, take too much time but because I am debugging so it may send uh, again uh, but if you just send no you are not debugging that it will run in a seconds okay so because uh, what PayPal does is if the uh, if it, the if it does not get any response from the API then it tries again and again f uh, for some time okay let's uh, activate it uh, and we have th this URL copy it and paste it now in the private window paste it let me copy the accounts and copy it paste it next and uh, uh, I have forget it let me save Okay, now we receive it again. Let me now continue and agree and subscribe. Now you will get agree and subscribe. Let me hit enter again. And what was the this was the URL? copy paste and test one two three four five six continue agree and subscribe Now we will get two events. The one is the subscription activated, and then the amount, the payment sale. The what exactly the amount has uh, deducted, and every month because it's a monthly based subscription, every month when paper deducts, we will get that particular event. Okay, so now we just get and let's see that what's the event type. So the event type is billing subscription activated. So this one, okay. You can create the enum for it. So I am just showing you just for the example. So subscription activated, and now we'll see that what we are getting once the payment occurred. Okay, and now you can see it say the payments payment sale completed. So payment sale com completed means that uh, PayPal has successfully detected the amount. And on on every for example, this is a monthly based subscription. So whenever the subscription amount deducted by the PayPal, PayPal will send this event, and you can add the transaction in your database or whatever it, the business logic you have. So here one thing that let me uh, see the JSON. Uh, where is the JSON? This one. So if I copy it and 
go to the beautify json or json formatter whatever and let me paste it and here you can see that there is one thing a refund link okay let me copy this link because this is important copy link oh copy link and I am going to paste it here and I will show you in the next video that how you can refund the subscription amount if you want to okay so that's it for this video and I'll ex uh, explain about the refund of the subscription amount in the next video thanks bye bye